Moving on to Islam. Let's look at what Catholicism has in a relation to Islam. And the Word became flesh to make us partakers of the divine nature. For this is why the Word became man. And the Son of Man became the Son of Man. Uh, Son of God became the Son of Man, so that man, by entering into communion with the Word, and thus receiving divine sonship, might uh, become a Son of God. For the Son of God became man, so that we might become God. So we becoming gods, big G, the only begotten Son of God, making, wanting to make us sharers in His divinity, assumed our nature, so that He made man, might make men gods. So we are be going to become gods, according to them. The depend, uh, deepening of faith in the virginal motherhood led the church to confess Mary's real perpetual virginity, even in the act of giving birth to the Son of God, made man. In fact, Christ's birth did not diminish his mother's virginal integrity, but sanctified it. So she is the perpetual virgin. And so the liturgy of the church celebrates Mary as uh, A.R. Parthenos, the ever-virgin. She had children with Joseph after Jesus. This is a fact. And so now she's relegated to goddesshood and the perpetual virgin. Again, this doctrine, uh, the objection, uh, this is 500. These are all catechisms of the Catholic Church. Again, this doctrine, the objection is sometimes raised that the Bible mentions brothers and sisters of Jesus. The Church has always understood these passages as not referring to other children of the Virgin Mary. In fact, James and Joseph, brothers of Jesus, are the sons of another Mary. <laughs> a disciple of Christ, whom St. Matthew signif uh, significantly calls the other Mary. They are close uh, relations of Jesus, according to an Old Testament expression. So, another Mary is there as well. Jesus is Mary's only son, but her spiritual motherhood extends to all men whom indeed he came to save. The son of whom she brought forth is he whom God placed as the firstborn among many brethren, that is, the faithful in whose generation and formation she cooperates with a mother's love. She is the co-redemptrix. There is no other man, the Bible says, no other name by which men are saved but Jesus, not Mary. She is not a mediator. This is what Rome believes. The church's relationship with the Muslims now. The plan of salvation also includes those who acknowledge the Creator in the first place amongst whom are the Muslims. These profess to hold the faith of Abraham, and together with us they adore the one merciful God, mankind. Uh, ju mankind's judge on the last day. So they are claiming that the Allah of the Muslims is the same God that Yahweh is it could be further from the truth. Islam and Catholicism, same face, different masks. Understand what is going on. Now you can look this up yourself. I believe that Rome invented the Islamic faith. Muhammad's wife was a Catholic, and there is a peculiar story about what went on here. And this is an example of the dialectic going on and the establishment of war going on between these two. Look at the Pope kissing the Quran and Arafat kissing the Pope. They are in cahoots, especially at the top level. And they are bringing this world, I've come to realize this world is a play being played out even Jesus himself told Judas in the upper room, okay, go in a, in a sense, go do what you have to do. Go do what you're going to do now. And so uh, 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 basically Satan can only do what God allows uh, him to do, and this is a plan. He's the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world, the Bible says, meaning that all of this is already played out. We are simply playing this out in this physical realm, there is a paradox between the omniscience of God, all-knowing future, past, present, and future, and us uh, in free will in this world to choose uh, who we're going to serve.
So let's look at this interfaithism going on. The Pope said, I close my greeting to you with the words, we believe in and confess one God. This is with the Muslims, admittedly in a different way, and daily praise and venerate him, the creator of the world and the ruler of this world. Interfaithism with Muslims. Let's see what the Muslims say about Jesus. God is indignant if Christ is believed to be God himself. And these are the references. To say nothing of Godship, Christ is not even the Son of God. They have a different Jesus. And they, the Jews, said in boast, We killed Christ Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Apostle of God, in the knowledge of God, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, crucified him. But it was made to appear to them, for a surety they killed him not. This is direct opposition from what Christians believe. Christ was altogether saved from the indignity of the cross, and as if by a miracle of likeness, someone else of the same features was crucified by the Jews under illusion, says the Quran. Christ became sin for us. If you understand uh, what Christianity is, he became, he took on all the sins of the world. He took our sins upon him on the cross. And yes, that was undignified and an act of love that God himself would undignify himself to that for us that because he loved us that is the story of the cross and our salvation and so there is one story there and everybody I believe knows this gospel it's being spread around the world the true gospel but these people are not spreading it they are against it Everybody kisses the Pope's hand. Now let's look at Mary. This is sick how people can do this. Mary at the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant. This is sacred place. And look at the woman dressed in scarlet with a crescent moon. And this man dressed in costume here, this Jesuit, now adorning this idol. How sick can you possibly, possibly be? And Rome and its pedophiles everywhere rampant. How in the world would you ever follow this or bring in anything that has anything that to do with their doctrines and their practices? Praying for our priests, a guide to praying for our priesthood, and union with Mary, queen of the cl clergy. Hail Mary. Catholics have long revered her, but now Protestants are finding their own reasons to celebrate the mother of Jesus. Queen of all, and this is to show you that they are bringing in Fatima. Uh, you can read this on your own, but Fatima is how they are bringing uh, Catholics and Muslims closer together. Fatima is the daughter of Mohammed's, uh, and his wife uh, is the daughter of Mohammed. Uh, her name is Fatima, and supposedly she has apparitions, all of this stuff, iconography, blood coming out of hands, and this stuff apparitions you can see now here prayer beads uh, in the Muslim world prayer beads in the Christian world prayer beads even the dress of nuns and the dress of uh, the women in Islam are the same moving on to the Kaaba this is the square cube, and within that square cube, this is supposed to be one of Abraham's houses or something like of that nature, but one key aspect of that is on the side of it is this meteorite, black rock, black stone. They kiss this thing. They touch it. They revere it. And that black stone uh, has its roots in the moon god of the Sumerians. And you can see this moon god here. Um, they have different aspects. Sometimes they're female moon gods. This one in particular is a male moon god. You can see also here in ancient Arabia, the sun god was viewed as a female goddess and the moon as the male god. It has been pointed out by many scholars as Alfred Aguliame. The moon god was called by various names, one of which was Allah. The name Allah was used as the personal name of the moon god in addition to other titles that could be given to him and uh, you can see that for yourself. Now looking at what is supposedly the satanic verses, check this out. Here's how the Quran uh, once read, and they included this. Uh, near it is uh, near it is the garden of abode. Beheld the lote tree was shrouded in mystery and unspeakable mystery unspeakable. His sight never 
swerved, nor did it go wrong. For truly did I see of the signs of his Lord the greatest. Have ye seen Lot and Uzzah and another, the third goddess, Manat? These are the exalted cranes, intermediaries, whose intercession is to be hoped for. What? For you the male sex, and for him the female, behold, such would be indeed a division most unfair. They have omitted these goddesses. And who are these goddesses? The son or the daughters of Allah. And you see them here. Uza Alat Menat. There they are in the Sumerian description of these goddesses. Or tablet, anyway. Moving on with uh, Saddam Hussein, Tariq Aziz was a Chaldean Catholic. And so there he is, shaking hands with the Pope. Here is uh, uh, Catholics now um, meeting with Hussein. <coughs> they are powerful diplomats. They own, and this is their colonial system. Ailing Aziz makes impassioned plea to Pope for early release. So showing you that he's, why in the world would he make a plea to the Pope for any release? Vatican pledges its support to build war-torn state. They have the money to do so. And the power to do so. Look at war itself. And look at what war has become as far as the culture of war. Here's the Nazi SS symbol. Why in the world would we ever take a picture with a U.S. flag? The mentality of the soldiers that they have risen. Uh, video games and all of this uh, virtual killing has uh, made this culture. Would you ever support any troops wearing skull masks? And this is not to, I'm not trying to bash people in the military, because, but this is something, war is serious business. Why in the world would we ever do this type of thing? And so the culture that they've raised uh, our children up in is wrong with regard to war. Uh, we should be in a protective mode rather than a fantasy, mode of fantasy, and coloring our guns, for goodness sake. My, it's unbelievable. So we have uh, now this SS here. If you actually look at the logos of companies in the military, snakes and dragons and lightning bolts and all of this imagery that is just evil, straight evil, and I can't understand why we don't we tolerate this. And the only way that I understand this is that it is controlled at the top level, and it's meant to be. And so how can we justify ourselves this way? And so they have fueled this on both sides of the issue. They have radicalized Islam. This war is coming. Prophecy is going to be fulfilled no matter what, uh, from my belief system, evil or good, God's word and plan is going to be fulfilled in this case, from my perspective. Let me read from the Quran to make you understand what their concept of heaven is. Uh, as for the righteous, they shall surely triumph. There sh shall be gardens and vineyards and high-bosomed virgins for companions, a tru truly overflowing cup. They will sit with bashful, dark-eyed virgins and chaste as the sheltered eggs of ostriches. Yes, and we shall wed them to dark-eyed horries, beautiful virgins. They shall recline on couches reining, ranged in rows to dark-eyed horries or virgins. We shall wed them. In them we... Uh, will be bashful virgins. Neither man nor jinn or demon will have touched before. Then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Virgins as fair as corals and rubies. Then which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? We created the Ories, the beautiful women, and made them virgins, loving companions for those on the right hand. In each there shall be virgins, chaste and fair, Dark-eyed virgins, sheltered in their tents, whom neither man nor jinn will have touched before. The Bible does not have any of this sexual, worldly uh, description. Christians are described as the bride of Christ. We are married to Christ. He is the bridegroom. There is no description of this uh, earthly sexual pleasure. From the Hadith, Ali reported that the Apostle of Allah said, There is a paradise... Uh, a market wherein there will be no buying or selling, but will consist of men and women. Uh, when a man desires a beauty, he will have intercourse with them. There it is. Moving along.
Let's look at, uh, we saw this, uh, is the uh, uh, inner uh, racial aspect of Freemasonry around the world. Uh, this is Egypt. We can see here there are some dignitaries of Egypt here. I believe this man, uh, the Egyptian president. You can read this, Nasser. There's, I believe that's Nasser. I'm not sure exactly who the is, but here's Anwar Sadat. Uh, and I believe that's Nasser. I could be wrong here. I'm not uh, up to date on that. I, I did know at one point, but uh, it's a lot of information. Now let's look at the exactly 72 virgins. Virginity is just one of their attributes. Uh, is not in Quran. It is from Hadith, which is quotations of the Prophet, peace be upon him. In Islam, there are four sources of knowledge. Quran, Hadith, account of the life of the promet, uh, Prophet, uh, equivalent to the Bible, scholarly writings uh, on jurisprudence, manners, interpretations. Uh, you can say schools of thought. Hor is the Arabic word for this man. A mistranslation. They are a creature in human form. Their attributes are virginity. Never uh, been touched by a man before. Extreme beauty, extreme lovely and cute, etc. You get to, you get the point. They were created as part of paradise's enjoyment and entertainment. After all, that is why we call it paradise. However, the Muslim women will be much, much more beautiful and attractive than these or. Uh, this is because of their higher status being a man and their strive for faith in this life. Uh, interesting uh, that uh, uh, this aspect and this promise of virgins uh, is there. And so one further note we should understand uh, by these promises why Islam is radical and why they can have suicide bombers come in uh, but in combination with things like this and seeing US troops doing this I'm not saying it's across the board but they see this happening and I've seen some grotesque things and torture and all of that uh, being played in the news uh, to uh, uh, play this on both sides the Bible says none is righteous none of us both sides are not righteous and we seem to think that we're the righteous ones and as a Christian um, I need to go out with peace to people and tell people of the gospel, the saving gospel of Christ, rather than being on a war mission saying that we have to go do this thing. God is going to take care of everything.